You know what we're doing today? I heard uh, we might be lifting, like a little strength or something. Okay. Oh, you put some size on, buck 80 ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> it's surreal, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Just to go from a junior college player to now being able to be called a professional baseball player, it's something pretty spectacular. You don't really have much time to like let it settle. You just kind of get on that plane and you're here. It, it felt like a dream. I was on cloud nine. It took a while for it to settle in. You get here and you're just like, dang, there's a lot of stuff going on. You don't know what's going on and you're just trying to stay within yourself. What are we doing? We're wearing pants today. Wearing pants. Please wear gray pants, stretch, sweet. So we, we're really gonna start till 1.30. You just picture that the, the kids hear their name called and their families and and the excitement with each and every pick. There's nothing better than that. You know, you feel like you're a part of helping people make their dreams come true. Just so thrilled for the athlete and the kid, their families, their their friends. I mean, everyone involved in their life. Kyle Haynes, Nick Avalon, nice to meet you. These guys sign major league contracts. For the rest of your life, you can say you were a professional baseball player. Okay, all right, if you can initial there, date here. I never knew it was gonna happen. You never know what's gonna happen. And I mean, it's exciting because once you get that call, like you got the job, you're like, oh, I'm so happy, I'm, this is everything. I mean, to play professional baseball is one thing, but to go to your hometown team, that was something that I'll never forget. There's somebody that believes they're a big leaguer. Otherwise, they wouldn't be on that board. We want to develop every player that we have down here into a big leaguer. Day one was a lot of introductions, a lot of different meetings, like what they expect, kind of the philosophy of the program. We have a culture here at the Giants that we expect all of our players to follow. You're gonna be a good teammate, you're gonna work hard, you're gonna show up on time, you're gonna respect the game, you're gonna respect your coaches, your teammates, you're gonna respect the opponent. One of the great things about the job is trying to learn each and every one of them, trying to figure out a way to, to pat them on the back when they need it and give them a hug when they need it or, or maybe a kick in the rear end when they need it. But if I have a process that I can control from here to here, this gives me the best chance to have consistent performance every night. Because here's the deal, we're human. It's kind of hard to think of yourself as a professional baseball player because Buster Posey, those are professionals. Those are dudes that they've mastered the craft and you're trying to just get to that level. These guys that you were watching on the major leagues every day, winning World Series, they were sitting in this exact same room as you. They were going the exact same process. Everybody in. Every one of you is expected. That ball's in the dirt. I want you, that's your license to go. So I want to make sure that we're already mentally prepared once we get on base and we know that this is my opportunity to take advantage of it. Shuffle, quick, quick, quick. Let me see your eyes, I want to see your eyes. We don't know very much detail about what their high school coach taught them or their college coach. Got it, got it. So in a way we come in, we say, we got to start from square one. I tell myself I'm going to catch it with my nose. Therefore, I'm underneath the ball. If I was even the first pick or the last pick, everyone has the same opportunity. They're not going to just pick you for no reason. They see something in you, and you just have to go out there and show what you have. Triple. I got to believe it's a lot of the same feelings I had when I got drafted. I still can remember that, being the 18-year-old kid coming here to Scottsdale and getting dressed out for the first time. Go ahead, forward and back been around baseball for 20 plus years as a kid and as a player and I get in my first year coaching I felt like I'd never heard of the game of baseball before. My biggest fear was to say something that was going to be wrong and hinder their career. So kind of your, your mentality at the plate changes. If I can get them to have a mindset where it's about the process not about the results and to be okay with struggle and to not have the success that they're probably anticipating or expecting because you don't learn unless you fail and I can use my entire career as a prime example, I don't think I would have been in that moment in 2014 had I not gone through the many failures and the many struggles that had led me up to that point. I mean, our hope, obviously, as coaches, for every guy that you ever come in contact with to get to the big leagues and have success. And hopefully, in the next couple of years, I'll get to see that come true and, and uh, you know, just have that kind of that proud papa feeling. I had to go through so much from before. There's, there's no reason I can't get through what I'm going through right now. They have to realize this is not a finish line, this is a starting point, and it's a starting point for the next chapter in their career. This is not going to be easy. As we're getting into it, I feel like it's settling more and more, but it's definitely still chaotic. Just trust the coaching staff and the people around me, hope for the best, and just give it my all.